What's going on guys? Uh, got uh, Steve Harris here and uh, Oz, a couple locals in the Cincinnati area. Thanks to No Bogey Disc Golf and Disc and Dap for uh, sponsoring this. Uh, Joe Jab Productions. We got a singles round going on at Boone Woods in Burlington, Kentucky just a couple days before Idlewild. Uh, this here is Zach Arlinghouse. He's a local sponsored by DD. Um, probably one of the youngest, best sponsored players in uh, this area for sure. Uh, here's Isaac. Throwing a turnover. This is hole one. It's 320. It's definitely lefty friendly. Um, pretty wide open. Easy, just mid range shot up the middle for the for most of these guys. Joe Javin stepping up. Uh, sponsored by Millennium. Throwing a little turnover straight up. Yep, just right outside circle, circle one maybe. And then Zach Melton, big dog. Just throwing up a mid range straight up the middle. And uh, yeah, look at that stability, just right next to the basket. <laughs> So here's Joe for his just outside the circle, I'm gonna guess like 35-ish feet. Um, Boone Woods is relatively open, shorter holes, good can right there. Um, but yeah, it's a really small, short, small course. These guys just out here doing a little tag round. Uh, sadly, Isaac dinked off the front of the cage there, it was right in line, just a little, a little low. And Zach, yeah, just slams it in with a birdie. And uh, a little, little tap in here from from Melton and then we'll finish up hole one. But uh, yeah, be sure to check out JoJab Productions, subscribe, there's giveaways, there's uh, you know gonna be more production happening in the future on local events and hopefully some bigger some bigger events uh, in the tri-state or just Midwest in general. Um, this is hole two. Uh, I would say it's another lefty friendly hole, especially for that big hyzer. Uh, there's not as many trees to contend with. When you go to the to go to the right hand backhand line, it's uh, much more I think of a larger hyzer, and you you don't want any skip. You kind of want it to spike down. But yeah, both the zacks there. I mean the basket's right in the middle, so they're getting a good skip up towards the basket. Here goes Joe throwing in a overstable mid, parking it, and Isaac doing the same. All right, got Zach. He's just. Little, little close to circle's edge. Lining it up. Take your time out there, guys. Got to make these putts. Missing, missing the inside circle putts is really what uh, I feel keeps you from keeping that round going, especially whenever you're on a shorter course. You really don't want to miss miss uh, too many putts. Kind of makes you feel like you're <laughs> slacking. There you go, Joe. Putting it in. Two down through two. Yep, little tap in. Zach just parked. All right, and uh, Zach's Zach uh, Melton sadly taking the par. All right, we got a couple one downs, couple two downs. One on the hole three. Hole three. This is a, one of the longest ones on this course. It's a real nice one too. It's a nice left to right. Gonna work out well for a lefty. Joe throwing a nice one down there. A turnover, yeah. This is one of my favorite holes on the course. It's uh, one of the two holes on the course that's really long, and it's actually got a little bit of challenge to it. Definitely. You uh, you you hit maybe like three quarters of the way up the you know 300 feet ish, and you get right into these these thick trees here. If you're not a lefty, you're pretty much poking and praying to an extent. Sadly, Joe Joe hit a tree right there on his putt. A little a little fast step putt for Zach. I think uh, I think Melton was parked uh, on this one. He's not putting yet. Yeah. He's just hanging out. <laughs> well, that's to be expected. I mean, he's only like a thousand rated plus touring pro. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Melton did hit his birdie. It looks like he was kind of in the background. We couldn't quite see him there, I think. Oh! Nailed it. Drilled it. Oh, yeah. All right. So this one. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Who's it? There go. It's like 20, 25. It's hard to tell in these videos sometimes. You know how yeah. far they are. Oh, I, mean, I count their steps. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always feel like when I watch when I watch, you know, videos. Oh, uh, no. I'm getting a little silly already. <laughs> He's like, there's plenty of holes left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just go ahead and take a couple strokes. <laughs> That's right. All right. You like, don't want to finish positive on this course, but that's right. a lot of holes left. Yeah, it's only maybe like four thousand feet total. Yeah. 
Uh, this is this is hands down my favorite hole on the course, and it's debatably one of my favorite holes in the tri-state area. It's probably the longest on this course. Yeah, too. longest on this course. I mean, you obviously, for a righty, you kind of want to hit that gap on the right, unless you know Zach did a lefty flick there. <laughs> if he would have missed there? that tree, he'd have been right up there. What do you say there? I missed it. Zach throwing a turnover. I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen lefties really play this hole, so that was an interesting choice. And then here we go, just standard. Local route. Yep, local hyzer route. Skipping <laughs> up there. That big tree you see he, he hit by, that's kind of where you want to be to give yourself a look. This is such a fun hole because you really got to hit your line. Yeah. Well, I, think, I think he just early released a little right there. And then if you miss your line, you're usually in that. Yeah, you're in this left side, especially for a righty, and it's uphill. Um, I mean, you really got to kind of go give yourself a good try on the layup or else you might leave yourself short or hit a tree. I think the right. basket's like right behind that tree. Yeah, right that tree that he just kind of landed by. You can you can barely see it. There's Joe. Shot. I think he had the, the best birdie. shot of the group for, for birdie here. Ah, uh, uh, give it a over. good bid. Yeah. You gotta play for the birdies. Yeah, give it a chance. This is definitely a deuce or die course. I mean, there's not, Zach aside from this hole so and the last hole. good with that. I yeah. Mean, he's such a his putt is, confident his putter. He does, yeah, he doesn't hesitate. He takes like hardly any time at all. Yeah, good putt with Joe, by Joe there. Yeah. And then, Ooh, righty. Uh, Got a righty putt from the lefty. I wanted to see Putting some show in. on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bonus points for show. For All show. Right. That's right. Uh, All right, we're moving on to uh, hole five. Pretty wide open, but it's guarded right right around the basket. You know, it's a little over 300 feet. It's like it's right in the middle of all those trees. You yeah. can go either left. It or looks right. like it's just right there. So I mean, if you if you don't throw a clean a clean just straight shot at it, you're kind of you're kind of asking to get kicked out. Get knocked and, down by some foliage, yeah, some some overhang. And when it's uh, when you're that. up on this hill, you, you ever feel like you got that wind? There's some weird wind. Oh, definitely. This is, I mean, this is the first hole I really feel like wind comes into play. Even yeah. though the first couple holes were in the oh, open, I, you don't really think about it. Ooh, Joe, going right through the change, just short. Oh yeah, it's just missing a sign. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's boot. <laughs> Boy, it's been around new, for a while. I mean, new it's at a YMCA. Coming, right? New yeah. signs are coming. Yeah. So at least that's, good. Oh, that's, that's what I hear. Shot. That's a big Good putt job, here. Yeah. See if you can knock another one down. Let's Good go. Putt. All right. Right in the heart. Yeah. Joe oh. putts with those omegas. How old is Zach? Is he like 12 or 13? Uh, I think 13, 14. I think he's 14. He's 14 now. Oh, or maybe yeah. next year. Yeah, I feel like every time I see him, he's like a lot older, so. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so much younger. Yeah, and you talk to him, and he's just like, mm, yeah, like I just do this, you know, like I just play disc golf. Yeah, it's great watching him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, great that he's a local too, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's great for there. Yeah, he did really well uh, at at Worlds. I think he was injured for Worlds, but he still ended up placing really well. I think he was you know coming second in like or second third? or third. Yeah. yeah, so he did really good. Oh. But and they played at uh, was it Swag? I think it was Smuggler's Notch. Is where they played for M so. Worlds. I think so. Yeah, it's because it same curls. Of course, uh, they they played for MPO. That's a good shot. Yeah, it was really good forehand. This, this one's like, wide open, but I mean, yeah. I feel like I always find myself trying to throw like an overstable mid or putter, and almost every time, if you don't throw the perfect kind of straight shot with one of those discs, you're kind of yeah. leaving yourself. I see a lot of guys come hyzer in yeah. too. And, and that's that's my problem. I always go almost anything long. Mm -hmm. I throw, if I step up to a fairway or you know something overstable, I throw a lot of Dismania and FD3. Look at that reach. If you don't put it out back. enough. Yeah, he yeah. does He does pull back a lot. He's that little he's dude, he's gotta get all that power. He's gotta, he's he's gotta, gotta build that power up. I'm old. But yeah, this is me. <laughs> I'm Isaac. This is, that's how I play this hole. You? Oh, over there? Yeah, 45 foot putt every time. Get it. Ooh, oh. right by the basket. Right by the basket. Excellent. Zach's got an interesting putt. He does. It's weird. He's a Oh, not Zach. I'm sorry. Yeah, Zach Melton. Yeah. He's, you know, he lines up with his right foot forward, which you think for a lefty he'd put his left foot forward. But, mm. yeah, he's almost like a staggered right foot forward straddle. Boom. There you go. He's got that, like, that swing, his arm. It's almost yeah. like a pendulum. Mm -hmm. But it comes out hot every time. Right, just tap so it this in. next hole, I yes. love this next hole. The next hole, yeah, you can, you can't see the basket. You know where it is when you walk down. You walk down a little hill into the corner, right on the backside of a neighborhood. This is a bomb shot. It's probably um, another great long distance shot, and if you park yeah. it, you're feeling good. Yeah, we didn't get the we didn't get the drives 
on video. It's kind of oh, a weird, probably one of the, the toughest angles, but yeah, chance, just falling short. Isaac looks like he's probably like yeah. 30. Oh, yeah, that circle's edge. That's like the worst when you hit dead center, but a little tonk. high, a little low. You're so dis I'm just disappointed in myself. Yeah. The tonk and the ding yeah. are the it's worst sounds in the so world. So taunting, it's not even fair. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Some of these. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Yeah. There you go, Zach. My fault. Zach, helping Zach out. These guys are buds. Um, yeah. You know, every time, every time I feel like uh, I see see them two together, they're just. Well, Melton, I think stayed at Darling. Yeah, Austin yeah. Austin. I think Melton and I want to say AJ, I think AJ might have stayed there as well. Yeah. But yeah, they had a this nice house full of Dismania members. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, this is definitely one of the shortest, easiest holes. There's a little slope on the backside, so you got to lay down your putter. Usually uh, CTP. Or mid shot. Here we go. It's right. Ooh. Usually CTP. Yeah, this is a CTP hole for uh, the local league. On Tuesdays, they do a doubles and a singles. They start early. That's great. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people you think would be at work at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They're not. <laughs> They're on the coolest plane. <laughs> how does that happen? I don't know. I have tons <laughs> All of these leagues time. that start at 6 o'clock in the tri state and people are struggling, <laughs> running late, but they're never late. Yeah. 4 o'clock, there's 30 people uh, sitting in there. Hey, so, big butt. Yeah. 30 yeah, people sitting in the pavilion butt. ready to go. It's ran by Disc and Dad, which is uh, the Kentucky local pro shop, sponsoring? which yeah is sponsoring this and Dan is Bayless. also a sponsor of Joe. Joe Great Jones. guy. There we go. Does a lot for the local community. He Thank does. You, Dan. Yeah. Thank, thanks, we Dan Bayless, it. for sure. He runs a lot of events around here. I mean, there's really only two shops his locally that run a lot of events. Smell the best. Like when yeah. I get a disc from his store, <laughs> yeah. I can pull it out of my bag like 15 rounds later, and it still smells like, uh, like a hippie shop. Yeah. Someone's like, I "Where'd you get it. that? Hang on, let me smell it." Uh, this is from a, this is a disc in that disc for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like, so clean. Uh, this is another another kind of you know three hundred ish foot hole. It's down. It's a, there's a hill that you have to throw over, and that kind of plays perfect to it for a lefty. It, it rolls. It kind of slants down a little better on the right side. You if you throw the hyzer, you got to keep it oh, high enough. And this time of year, much. it's real thick. Um, so if you go you know too far over that right side, you're probably hitting something and getting kicked down. You're in the but yeah, I don't know what he looks like. He's throwing like a mid like a. Maybe a justice, but that's that still would be pretty overstable. He's got a big arm, though. He can do it. This looks like a putter straight All at right. it. Isaac, that should be part. Yeah, that should be right up there. Yeah, there's like, oh, Joe just fell. He's like a dinosaur in a little the low. woods. Look at it. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> tearing down the trees. That's how it is. It's, it's, you know, it's uh, those wildflowers, and uh, they, the park does their best to keep up on it, and occasionally we get in there, so we try not to not to tear it up. I like or to see Eric Oakley stuff. meme with him in the woods. You know, like... <laughs> Coming out of the grass. Yeah, it's just tall enough. He really could just oh. barely, barely see his head if he lost a disc over there. Man, he yeah, no, I'm just sitting yeah. on eight feet. Mm. Zach uh, trying to make his par putt. And yeah, I think he got it. All right. There's Joe cleaning up par. I think it's oh, it is par. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was Zach's birdie. Yeah, uh, or Zach uh, Isaac. I'm sorry. Nice. All right. It's yeah. tight. Yeah, it's very tight for those three. Isaac, you know, fell behind. I think, I think he's starting to warm up. Now. Yeah, he's, he's he's warming up. He's having fun. Uh, next hole is hole ten. I really like this hole. It's not. We're gonna come. Not, We're gonna oh, come yeah. back. All but right. thank you for watching. That's right. We'll Subscribe. Right check out. Check out. <laughs>